Hey, what's up you money makers welcome back to my channel i want to keep you posted on top two penny stocks that i have been looking this week that you should also have on your watch list these two penny stocks are super super interesting because there are a few catalysts that are coming up for these two penny stocks uh the first one i want to talk about is uh, ticker symbol abml this is an otc traded stock and i bought it at one dollar and 62 cents today if you think about this stock, you should think about what are the catalysts, why this is a penny stock, what is the future that looks looks like for AB um, ML, and what you can turn your investment in next few weeks or maybe next few days. So let's talk about this particular stock. As you can see, the stock is down five dollars, five point eight eight percent. It is at one dollar and seventy six cents. It represented a pretty good buying opportunity at uh, one dollar and sixty five cents. Quite honestly, that was the price that I was looking to buy just right here. But by the time I got into my account, it dropped even further in next few minutes. And I was able to buy it at $1.62. What happens after that? After that, it got back up all the way to $1.83, as you can see right here. And it is closed at $1.76. So if you think all in all, there is more than 10% gain just in one trading session now why this stock is super super important or interesting rather this is uh, uh, the clean energy stock and what it does is it is powering the future of clean energy through the battery recycling this particular company uh, extraction is their um at their core basically it tests and evaluates multiple lithium extraction through their processes and sustain it sustainably cost-effective recover battery-grade lithium and they recycle this particular using the supply chain uh, management challenges by developing the integrated lithium-ion battery recycling facility. Not only that, this particular company also got the pilot approval that, is, that, that has already been approved. If you take a look at this particular stock right here, there are a few things going on. The first one is it, it has completed, the company has completed the purchase of the property property located in Tao and Nash Industrial Park, which is pretty interesting. They also have an uh, approval from American Battery Metal Corporation's conditional use permit for lithium ion battery recycling on a facility. And the third and the most important thing that you should really, really look into is they are they are likely to be getting the NASDAQ approval. American Battery Metals Corporation files the application to list on the NASDAQ market. Now, what this means, uh, particularly for ABML, that this particular stock is trading consistently above $1 level. As you can see, for last many weeks, it is about $1 level. The, 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 the time that we saw below $1 level was a while back in December. Starting late December and early January, it touched also four dollars and ninety cents almost five dollars so one dollar and eighty six cents or maybe one dollar and sixty five cents or maybe one dollar and fifty six cents represented a pretty pretty good opportunity buying opportunity i bought it I, I i was probably lucky but i was looking into the technical analysis the stock started consolidating around one dollar and sixty five cents level which is what i was thinking is a good level to buy However, this could be particularly a good swing trade if you can turn it into 20% return maybe like in a couple of days. Why not? But if not, if it drops below, uh, let's say $1.50, it still represents a pretty good opportunity for mid to long term. This is a pretty, pretty interesting company because the NASDAQ application usually takes four to six weeks to process the listing application. Hopefully, they'll get a pretty good news from NASDAQ and getting listed on NASDAQ. However, the company submits the application in the first week. NASDAQ qualification staff begins the review within two to three weeks or within two to three weeks, the staff completes the preliminary review and prepares the comment letter. Week three and four company addresses any issues. If there are not any major issues, they can hopefully get back pretty quickly. And within five to six weeks, the, the staff can complete the review and the company is approved for listing. If you think about May 20th, when the company declared that they have filed application, it's almost five to six weeks. So we may hear some good news very, very soon. I'm not a financial advisor. You want to do your own due diligence, but I just wanted to share what I know. 
I shared this on my uh, uh, private Discord. If you want to join and support my Patreon, you can just join this group, which is in the, the, the link is in the description below and I can also keep you posted. Someone on my Discord also bought um, ABML around, I want to say $1.65 range, if I'm not mistaken. But what I'm trying to say is there is a pretty good opportunity in this particular stock. Also, if you haven't clicked on the like button, click on the like button, subscribe to my channel and help the channel out. It doesn't cost you anything. So I would kindly ask you to help and support the channel. Click on the like button so this video can reach to more and more people. I have more than 80% of my viewers. Most of my videos that they're watching, they're not the subscribers. It doesn't cost you anything. Please, please help and support the channel. If you take a look, further into the chart right here for one day it represents a pretty pretty good um, RSI RSI is 57 not an overbought not an oversold condition MACD was pretty good as well when I was looking into take a look right here when I was looking into $1.65 to buy the stock MACD the blue the MACD was about about the orange which is the signal where um where the 35 37 was the RSI that's represented oversold condition whenever you see a pretty low rsi that means in the interim in the short term the stock will spike up and this is precisely what happened i was not expecting this will go back to 186 just or 83 just today but it did anyway and it closed out pretty strong and pretty early than earlier than i than i thought but it's a good stock the second stock i want to also, oh, by the way, one more thing before we leave this, we saw a massive volume, which is once again a great sign. The 65 day average volume is 3.73 million. Today we saw 8.95 million. Makes me think there must be some sort of news coming out on the NASDAQ application very, very soon. And if that happens, 20 to 30% gain is, uh, is going to happen just in no time that's what i am thinking just for myself so do your own due diligence research and analysis before you buy or sell this is our penny stocks penny stocks are risky you can make a ton of money in a short period of time on the flip side you can lose them as well so definitely do not want you do not want to invest the money that you're not willing to lose or that keeps you up at night so do not invest your entire portfolio and make sure you have diversified portfolio. The second stock I want to cover, which is also on my watch list, is Healthier Choices Management Corp, ticker symbol HCMC. This is still an OTC traded stock, but very, very interesting stock, full of catalysts, a lot going on with this stock. One of the things that I want to tell you is today it was between 10 and 11 levels as we have been seeing for the last three weeks. Now, the volume today was 1.74 billion, a tiny bit higher than what we usually see for last few days. For last few days, we saw the volume 1.25 billion, 1.50 billion. However, there was a little bit of uptick today in terms of the volume. I did not really put the buy order because I bought ABML. However, I do think that I should have put the buy order at 0 0.0010, but I did not. I don't know why, but this stock is particularly a pretty good stock with a lot of, lot of catalysts. If you take a look right here, we are seeing 10, 11, 10, 11, 10, 11 for a long, long period of time. The last time we saw some of the uptick was around June 15th and June 16th uh, when we saw 0 0.0015 when they announced the rights offering closing. After that, we were we were discussing on this channel that we may see some deep. It did happen, but did not go below the, the key level, key support level of 0 0.0010. I'm not in rush to sell the stocks that I already have for its CMC, but I may buy some additional stocks just for short term, maybe for swing trade and or for mid to long term. I don't mind it either way. If you take a look at this particular stock, we have been seeing consistently higher short volume ratio for this particular stock. Let's take a look. We don't have the data for today, of course, but we have been seeing 20, 30, 50, 40, 43%. So pretty high short volume ratio. The 270 million represents the short for 1 billion, 1.25 billion, something along those lines. That was the trading volume on July 2nd a couple of days back on the last trading session. I do not have the data for today, but there are plenty of catalysts for this stock as well. If you want to further review how what this stock is all about, you can search 
money makers space hcmc stock and you can get a ton of information because i have been consistently covering the stock one of the things that you want to notice is this company has 27 million dollars cash on hand that they raise the capital from the rights offering one of the things that they are doing right now is expanding their collaboration and tie-ups with other company companies ATG Pharma six pack solution in Canadian region. They have Nuhi brand tie up pre fill Q cups in Colorado as well. One of the catalysts that we're looking for in the short term is the PTAP petition for inter parties review filed by Philip Morris. The second one that we are looking for is the motion to dismiss filed by Philip Morris for HCMC that HCMC is suing them for their IQS product on their patent infringement. What's going on with this company is they're focusing on five big pillars. The first one is the intellectual property holding LLC. This company holds all the patents that HCMC has. They also have the Healthy Choices Market, 18,000 feet physical store. They have Vitamin Store, which is their online selling platform. They have the Vape Store, seven Vape Stores in the United States. And they have QCup that we already talked about, the Nuhi brand and ATG Pharma and the expansion that the company is trying to do to scale up their operations and increase the revenue and eventually their profitability. This company already has more than $3 million of quarter or quarter revenue. If you take a look just right here, sorry, this is a different stock. If you take a look just right here uh, for HCMC, you can see 3.47 million in Q1 2021 with the net income of negative seven, almost $700,000. This company was founded in 1985, so it's not really a brand new company. And their CEO has been super, super focused on making sure the best outcome for the lawsuit that they have going on with Philip Morris. That's one of the big, big catalysts that people are looking for, and they have a very strong community. I just wanted to keep you posted with what's going on here. The third, the, the third stock that I want to slightly touch upon is United States Anti-Money Corporation. 94 cents is a little bit pricey in my opinion for me because we saw the stock went up 99 cents just in today's trading session uh pre-market as well and we got back down to 93 cents as you can see right here and we're close at 94 cents however if this goes around 85 cents or maybe second support level was if i remember correctly was 78 cents that represents a pretty good buying opportunity as a penny stock. Once again, pretty risky. Um, risk is associated with that. After all, it's a penny stock. But this stock went all the way to $2.56 earlier this year. So if I take a look right here, or if I may scroll down, 52 week range is 22 cents up to $2.56. So this is not a cheap stock, a cheap price at the moment to buy this stock. However, there is a pretty good potential because they shared their operational updates just before a few days. So there is a lot more revenue on the pipeline for UAMY. Many times they are sold out throughout the year for the substantial period of the year. I hope you like this update. Click on the like button, click on the subscribe button. If you want to join my Patreon, and support the channel i would really appreciate that as well we have a private discord and we can talk very small um group less than 10 people but we can talk about a lot more in terms of your uh, what you're thinking what should be on your watch lists so on and so forth thanks guys for watching i'll see you in the next video